you have what it takes to crack the computer code? I want to introduce you to this pretty cool uh, binary puzzle, uh, the, the language of computers, as you know. This binary puzzle is made of wood. Uh, the little pegs are made of wood as well. They all come out. And uh, yeah, I wanted to introduce this puzzle to you. It's a STEM toy. It's a STEM toy. Uh, so, you know, it develops uh, intelligence and everything else. It's pretty cool. Uh, let me show you the uh, cover of the box here. There it is. And it's a STEM, real big there. It's a STEM puzzle, technology, binary puzzle. Okay, you can look for that. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Here's the back of the box. Okay. And uh, you're going to get 52 challenges with this puzzle. Okay. 52 challenges. The first thing you're going to do is tip all of these out of there, all the, all the little wooden pegs there. And you're going to find a challenge that you want, right? There's, there's 52 of them. You're going to find a challenge that you want. And I don't know if you noticed, right? But some of the pegs have uh, red zeros. Some have red ones. Well, with the reds, they're double-sided, right? Double-sided, right? On one side, it's black. The other side is red for all, all the pegs. Um, the red is for you to set up the original position of that particular challenge, which is neat because uh, once you set up that initial position, you see that the uh, red pegs, the ones and zeros there, are the original position of the particular challenge. Uh, so as you're trying to solve the puzzle, uh, you, of course, will be using the black side of the ones and the zeros. Uh, if you mess up and you need to remove some of those pegs, you know not to touch the ones that are red because that's the original setup of the challenge. Okay? Now, there are three rules in this puzzle. Uh, you're going you're gonna to tip all of these out of here. You're going to set up the, the challenge you want. There's 52 of them. Uh, by the way, the beginning uh, beginner challenges are only 4x4. Four Four by four, Alex, but that's a six by six board. Yeah, but you're only gonna play with the four by four square, a little area, okay? So those are like the beginner challenges and then you get into the uh, six by six challenges, right? So um, you have to follow a couple of rules, you know, right there, and it's pretty simple. Rule number one, each row and column is going to contain the same amount of ones and zeros, okay? That's uh, as you begin to set up your puzzle, okay? Uh, every row and column is gonna have the same amount of ones and zeros, okay? That's how you have to set it up. Rule number two, each row and column, okay, have a specific pattern, okay? They, they, they have unique patterns, each row and column, okay? That's, you're gonna be working with that, all right? And rule number three, very simple. There are never more than two ones or two zeros right next to each other, horizontally or vertically, okay? So after you tip all these out and you set up your particular challenge, okay, with the uh, um, little wooden pins there on the red side, you're gonna start working on the puzzle. So um, I find this puzzle uh, fun, interesting, attractive. I do have one complaint with the puzzle, and that is the packaging, right? Because once you, it comes in this, uh, once you put the puzzle in there, right? If I put that in there, it's, it's hard to get it out without tipping all the, because uh, this uh, came shrink-wrapped, okay, when I bought it. So it had this nice display, right? You have this, uh, this box here that opens up, and then it, you know, it displays the puzzle. The problem is if you put this, okay, in this uh, little tray here, okay, and in the box, as soon as you tip the box over, all those little uh, wooden pegs are gonna fall out. So the way I package it, uh, when I package it, because usually yeah, I just leave that puzzle out, I put the, uh, the cover on top, right? If I'm gonna put it back in the box, I put the cover on top and that tends to keep the little pegs in place. And also, it's <laughs> once you have that puzzle in here, it's it's hard to get it out, right? Like I said, without tipping everything over. Uh, but it's a, it's a neat puzzle. Um, if you'll indulge me, give me just a moment, I'm gonna show you uh, the solution to one of these puzzles, just so, and then we'll talk about it a little more, all right? Be right back. 
All right, so this is the initial setup for one of the uh, challenges. As you can see, all the, the little uh, ones are, are red, right? And uh, the, the one, the zero is red. So all the, the, when you set it up, all the pegs are gonna be uh, red side up. That way you know what the original setup is. Now, what do we know here so far? We know that every, uh, you know, horizontally or vertically, okay, every row or column is gonna have a uh, unique pattern. We know that uh, every uh, row and column is going to have the same amount of ones and zeros. So in this case here, we know that these are going to be zeros, right? Because there's three ones, so it has to be three zeros because that's how you solve it, right? Every uh, row or column has the exact number, uh, the same number of ones and zeros. And um, the other rule here uh, that we can't forget is that there will never be more than two uh, ones or zeros right next to each other. Okay, so clearly in, in this row here, we're gonna have two zeros there, right? And uh, in this row, there's gonna be two zeros together at some point. And down here, there's gonna be, uh, you know, possibly, possibly two zeros uh, together here too. You have to work out the puzzle. So here's uh, one of the challenges now. Let me uh, fill everything out and uh, we'll talk about it uh, a little more. All right, so here it is solved, right? As, as we discussed, you know, all the rules apply here. All the rules apply, but as we discussed like on that bottom line here, we knew that, that uh, those two were gonna be uh, zeros and they were gonna be together, right? Uh, based on the rules. Now, uh, again, uh, all the uh, all our pegs are black side up. So if we, you know, in the process of solving the puzzle messed up, we could just remove them, leave the ones that are red side up because that's the original challenge. And all the rules apply, right? You have unique patterns in every row or column. Uh, you have the same number of ones and zeros in every row or column and uh, you don't have more than two ones or zeros right next to each other anywhere okay uh, row of columns right so if you just analyze everything there that's how you would solve that particular challenge now that challenge is a, is a more difficult one but i wanted to show you uh, you know how cool this this puzzle is i find it uh, very challenging um, the four by fours uh, are much easier, right? But it kind of gets you going. If you're giving this to, uh, you know, like if you decide to give this as a gift and you and you give it to a young person, uh, they begin with the four by fours and then bam, their 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 brain kind of kicks in and then they'll they'll be able to t to tackle the six by six puzzles uh, successfully. And uh, it's fun for all ages, you know. I've done quite a few of the challenges there. I, I have not done all 52 of them, but I've done quite a few of them. And I find it pleasing, uh, you know, the wood, the little wooden pegs. I find it interesting. It is challenging. It's fun. It blows my hair back. And if this is the kind of thing that, uh, you know, blows your hair, ba hair back, uh, you might want to go check it out. Let me show you the, uh, the cover here. It's called Technology Binary Puzzle, a STEM toy, okay? Very cool. Uh, what else can I say? I mean, go look for it. Go get one. 